I'm going to try to get on the monorail here in Las Vegas. I'm at the SLS Hotel right now. And, uh... I have no idea how it works or what the deal is. But I'll walk you guys through it as I learn it. And, uh, I'm going to hit pause. So, uh, we'll see if I don't have to slice this video. If I could just keep hitting pause, we'll see. Okay, so, uh... I just went up the escalator from SLS and there is a uh, walkway over here to the to the monorail and I asked the guy how much it is and he said like five bucks one way so I'll walk you guys through that when I get to it okay so this says monorail ticket office so I'll go over here, ask this guy for a ticket. How much is this? So one rate is $5, so once you get off at one station, that's it. Okay. Uh, we have off the 24-hour pass. You can use it all day on and off. All day? For how much? For 13 13 okay. Yes. I'll take that. You have the 24-hour pass. Okay, so $13, sir. So unlimited rides? Yes. Okay. For just for today, for 24 hours. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay, so here's the monorail card. And she said, enter it with the arrow going in and the strip up. So uh, it says entry here. This kind of reminds me of the subway in. Uh, New York. Okay. Wow, it's a beautiful day. A little bit chilly still. But, uh, gonna walk down there and I'm gonna push pause so I can put my wallet away and stuff. Okay, so what she said was, and I don't know if you caught it or not, was that a trip, one trip, one destination, just get on and get off somewhere is five bucks. And then to ride it all day, unlimited rides everywhere is, uh, is 13 bucks. So I'm gonna hit pause again and wait till I get on. SLS Las Vegas. That's what we're on here. Okay, so the monorail just showed up and it says it's heading southbound. The next stop is Westgate. And then uh, I'll get on here and see if I can find a map of the stops. Okay, so there's the map. We're at SLS Station. Then we go to Westgate. The doors are closed. Then Please Las stand Vegas clear. Convention Center. Then Harris. Then Flamingo. Then Valleys. Please hold the handrail firmly at all times. Then next stop southbound is Westgate Las Vegas Station. Our next stop is the closest station to Circus Circus Hotel and Casino. Be sure to pay attention to the theme park and turn the right way. Hopefully this video won't stop at five minutes. I'll ride a little bit with you guys. See if it cuts out. If it does, well then I'll just end the video there. Now this is where I'm going to be West staying Las tonight. Vegas Station.
This monorail continues southbound. Next stop, with 5 million visitors every year. Just a few seconds after you leave Westgate Las Vegas, you'll reach the high point of your monorail ride. Literally, you'll be 60 feet above the convention center on a single rail. The only thing missing is a Cirque du Soleil acrobatic act, but you can find them at several other stations along our system. Hey, monorail riders, did you know that your unused Las Vegas monorail tickets don't expire until a full year after you buy them? So if you get extra monorail tickets today, you'll have a great excuse to come visit Las Vegas another time this year. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and cut this video and uh, hopefully you understand how to get on the monorail. I'm going to make another uh, video of just cruising around on the monorail. So anyway, life is good. With seven convenient stops along the strip, the Las Vegas monorail is the quickest and most cost-effective way to get you where you want to go. Las Vegas Convention Center Station.